October 2018, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change issued an alarming report that sent people away from their comfortable everyday lives to notions on the future of this planet. 90 scientists from over 40 countries came to conclusion. If humans don't take immediate collective action to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2040, the consequences will become a natural everlasting process for our planet. With the excessive greenhouse gases trapped in the atmosphere, there will be, in effect, no turning back. Our horrifying nightmares which we cannot avoid or prepare for will be as frequent as rain and sun, extreme droughts, devastating wildfires, massive floods, deadly hurricanes, and widespread famines will be a permanent part of the seasons on this planet. The global average temperature has already risen by 1 degree Celsius which tells us that we only have around 0.5 degrees Celsius to play with. According to the report, to avoid this global catastrophe, we'll need to reduce global carbon emissions by as much as 40% by 2030. Regardless of all the evidence brought in front of our eyes, there are still some people who believe that climate change is either not real or is a problem for our future generations to solve. Our past generations started this mess. When the time was right a decade ago to fix it, we decided to ignore it. And guess what? We continued to worsen the mess and in our present day, when we still have time to make it right, we want our future generations to solve our mess for themselves. What answer will you and your children give to their children when they ask that why didn't our generation do anything to solve this problem? So what will happen if the global temperature rises above 1.5 degrees Celsius? The biggest impact of climate change will fall on the animal and food ecosystems. Most of your favorite foods will be extinct by 2050. Foods such as avocados, chocolate, wheat, maize and rice crops, strawberries, maple syrup, coffee, bananas, and corn will probably not thrive above a global temperature rise of 2 degrees Celsius. And if you haven't happened to go to a zoo or a safari, you might want to grab a visit as soon as possible. Some of the animals that will become extinct are koalas, seals, cranes, polar bears, belugas, some penguins, some turtles, and some butterflies. As temperatures warm and glaciers melt, the potential sea level rise can destroy homes and cities. About 40% of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers of the coast. This could be a great threat to global population and increase immigration drastically. Climate change is a war that cannot be won after it gets out of control. So after grasping this harsh reality, there is one positive statement in the IPCC report. Anthropogenic emissions, including greenhouse gases, up to the present are unlikely to cause further warming of more than 0.5 degrees Celsius over the next two to three decades. This means that if the world stopped burning fossil fuels right now by transitioning to clean energy, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that have already been released into the atmosphere up to this point are not likely to warm the planet any more than 0.5 degrees Celsius. Our planet is warming, putting at risk not only our physical well-being, but also our wallets. Climate change has cost US taxpayers more than $350 billion over the past decade. By 2050, that figure will be $35 billion per year. The costs include cleanup and disaster assistance from flooding, storms, wildfires, and all other unpredictable weather and climate patterns which are set to increase under rising temperatures. And guess where the government will get all that money from? That's right, you. Taxes will rise by as much as 30% of current rates. You might want to reconsider your thoughts on having a comfortable life after retirement. With the post-disaster costs, there are also costs that are going to make your life much more difficult. A helpful tip that may save you big bucks in the future would be starting your own garden or farm with your own fruits and vegetables. Food prices are set to rise from as little as 10% to as much as 80%. An average person spends from around $200 to $400 on groceries each month. That's about $2,400 to $4,800 each year. If food prices rise as expected, 
you could be paying as much as $4,000 to $8,000 each year in the near future. That is double the price you pay right now. So it's up to us now. We can either avoid disaster if we act and act quickly, or ignore problems as we always have and face the consequences. Serious consequences. The future of the planet and the human race is in your hands. Albert Einstein once said, The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Thank you.